This is quite a tricky question from the Intermediate Maths Challenge from 2024. We've got the point P with coordinates minus 1, 4. That's reflected in the y-axis to become Q. The point Q is reflected in the line x equals y to become R. And then the point R is reflected in the x-axis to become S. So let's draw a diagram. That's crucial for this sort of question. Uh, we've got the point P with coordinates minus 1, 4. That would be over here. I'm going to reflect that in the y-axis. So the y-coordinate is going to stay the same. And the x-coordinate is going to change from minus 1 to 1 to give us the point Q with coordinates 1, 4. Now I'm going to reflect in the line x equals y or y equals x. And uh, when you reflect in the line y equals x, that swaps the role of x and y. So it's going to swap the x and the y coordinates. And so the point R will have coordinates 4, 1. Uh, and then I'm going to reflect in the x-axis. So the x-coordinate will stay the same this time. And the y-coordinate will change from 1 to minus 1 to give us the point S at the bottom with uh, coordinates 4, uh, minus 1. Now, you could here work out the area uh, of this uh, quadrilateral, um, which is a trapezium using the formula for a trapezium, half a plus b times h. All of those things are possible to work out here. But if you want a, a nice fast math challenge uh, method for this, we could add in another point here, 4, 4, and see that the trapezium that we've got here is a large triangle minus a smaller triangle. The smaller triangle has a side lengths 3 and 3, and the larger one, 5 and 5. So I just need to do a uh, half base times height for each of those. A half times 5 times 5 uh, minus a half times 3 times 3. That's a half of 25 minus 9, or a half of 16, which gives us 8. And so the answer here is E.